much more cautious now than I've ever been in my life of paying attention to my surroundings. It's required for me to stay alive. Bonnie Willis says she ran for Fulton County District Attorney in significant part to help victims and to prevent other people from becoming victims. But now she's become victim of threats. What are some of the things that have been said in threats? Basically that they're going to murder me, that the DA is going to get got. Because of how she does her job and she's living her life amid extraordinary security measures. And I'm not going to be intimidated from doing it and doing it in the correct fashion and holding people accountable. She says menacing communications about her, mostly on social media, ramped up a lot after the high profile racketeering indictment involving some celebrity rappers and YSL, an alleged criminal street gang. We don't believe that these threats were directed by anyone that is in the YSL indictment. By people sympathetic, potentially, or affiliated? I would say that people that are very sympathetic, um, maybe admirers of YSL, and connected to um, them in some sense. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. So guys, as I showed you in the video, Atlanta DA Fanny Willis is getting death threats. What makes no sense in the black community is that we hear all the time about how black lives matter, how we need to protect our black women, how we need to build up our black community, and how we need to make more black families and a stronger black family unit. But here we go. We have a lady who is simply doing her job and trying to help protect the black community. But she is getting death threats for arresting and prosecuting rappers that we love and idolize. Okay, cool. Free YSL. Free Young Thug. Free Gunna. Cool. Let's do that. It's all fun and games until it impacts our loved ones or somebody close to us. Soon as Pookie and Ray Ray, who isn't a rapper, who isn't famous, commits a crime against our siblings or grandma or mom friend or any loved ones or somebody close like a co-worker all of a sudden we have a different tune and we want them locked up and the keys to be thrown away it's all fun and games until it hits close to home so should we also ask to free the same people that commit crimes that hit close to home and that affect our loved ones so the Atlanta DA is simply just doing her job and cleaning up the streets I don't think some of y'all understand how bad Atlanta has gotten it's turned to the new Chicago Atlanta home side rate up for the third consecutive year crime data shows. Atlanta number three in US for highest homicide jump during COVID. 11 shot in less than five hours in Atlanta as gun violence plagues city. If we want to build a better black community, one of the first things is we need to clean up the streets. How do you expect the well-to-do blacks who can contribute to the black community to want to come home and come back and bring their talents and resources to help build a better black community? community and communities like Atlanta when they themselves are not safe in those same communities like Atlanta. It's like you could end up getting shot in a crossfire just checking your mailbox or simply running errands. It's not safe for our family, kids, parents, grandparents, and the future generation. So what logic is it to send death threats to Fanny for simply doing her job and cleaning up the streets? But in the same ear, we're screaming how black lives matter, how we need to build up the black community. But in another ear, we're screaming free YSL, free young thug, free gunner. But in another ear, we ask for them to lock up and throw away the keys when it comes to the local Pookie and Ray Ray that commits crimes that impacts our loved ones and hit close to home. That logic makes no sense. And we wonder why the best and the brightest are just leaving the black communities like Atlanta and taking their talents and resources over to the suburbs. Can you blame them? It's not safe for them. It's not safe for their kids, their parents, their loved ones. And sending death threats to the DA for trying to clean up this community and make it safer? If she should not do her job just because because she locked up your favorite rapper? Then should we not keep the same energy when it comes to the local Pookie and Ray Ray that commits acts of violence against your loved ones? The only difference is that they're not famous. So guys, let me know what you think. And with that being said, I am out.